I would say I'm very scientifically curious, and this leads me down rabbit holes into interesting projects. The inspiration for my most recent project came when I was watering plants in the garden and I stumbled upon this bucket full of willows submerged in water, and I had the eureka moment of maybe I could extract salicin, which I knew was in the willow, and turn it into aspirin. But then, lockdown happened, and I no longer had access to a lab and so I couldn't complete my original project. And then I had this brainwave that maybe the same salicin in the willow could be used to help plants grow. This would be an environmentally friendly alternative to synthetic products and would be a cheap way for people to grow their own cuttings. To test this hypothesis, I did a controlled experiment on 80 different plant cuttings. I grew some of them with willow water and some with normal water, and I'd hoped and expected that the plants watered with willow water would fare much better and grow quicker and healthier. Unfortunately, my results did not show this at all. Despite having some positive results on the plants which were expected to be hardest to grow, overall, my results were a bit of a disaster. They were inconclusive and not what I'd hoped. But I think this is a very good example of how science is in fact in the real world and is not perfect. Getting bad results happens and it's actually much more interesting than getting a perfect match to your prediction. I also showed that I could conduct a scientifically rigorous experiment in challenging circumstances outside of the lab. And as an extra positive, many of the plants I grew are still growing, capturing carbon dioxide from the environment and storing it in their cells. Growing plants and trees is the simplest form of climate action.